NBC Tonight. I'm forgetting how the world used to look. How long have you been colorblind? I used to love to paint the world. Now all I see is black and white. I want to give you an entirely new way of seeing. Brilliant Minds, next Monday on NBC and Peacock. Hello, Dr. Charles. Sarah, I haven't seen her in six years. What's this? Resignation letter. You sent me the death threat. It was you all along. Chicago Men, new Wednesday on NBC and Peacock. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. That breaking news coming from Simi Valley tonight where fire burned through a home there, displacing two people and killing their dog. Neighbors reported they heard loud explosions when that house was on fire here. NBC4's Tracy Leong live in the neighborhood where this is still a very active scene. Tracy. Yeah, that's right, Colleen. The fire trucks and sheriff's deputies are still here. You can see them parked behind with their flashing lights. There's still a lot to clean up after that fire erupted around 8 o'clock tonight. We can even hear some chainsaws in the background as they clean up that house that was just gutted by that fire. This neighborhood is the Santa Susana Knolls in Simi Valley. The fire was reported at a home on Uniper Street near El Camino Real. When the Ventura County Fire Department arrived, they managed to get it contained in about 30 30 minutes. People living nearby said they heard loud booms and explosions, and they described the flames shooting out of the home nearly 20 to 40 feet high. I heard what sounded like firecrackers, and I just saw what I can only like, ex describe as basically like, fi like fires, a fire like 20 foot tall growing and growing and everything was being consumed all around it. But I also saw neighbors like with the hoses out and trying to keep it back and trying to save what they can and make sure everyone got out. Ventura Fire says there was a man and child inside the home who managed to safely escape. The man suffered minor injuries and their family dog died in the fire. Because the roadways are narrow and the homes are so close together, it created a challenge for crews trying to access that fire, so they needed to go through the back of the home. The alleyway normally is not a good place for us to, to make an attack uh, because of those power lines and all the utilities located back there. However, uh, in, this t in this case, it was a perfect place to mount a good fire attack to keep that fire from spreading. I asked Ventura Fire about those explosions. They said they did hear reports of them, but they could not confirm a source. Right now, the cause is still under investigation. Reporting live in Simi Valley, Tracy Leong, NBC4 News. Also tonight, the LAPD is asking for help finding the driver of a hit and run in Encino. This happened on Saturday night, Ventura Boulevard. The driver of a white car was involved in a crash with another car and a pedestrian. Now, we've blurred the man because he was left with serious injuries. Police are hoping someone can identify the white Nissan Altima missing a driver's side mirror and they say damage to the front. The family of a woman who vanished after missing her connecting flight at LAX is desperate to find her. And tonight they're asking for your help. They filed a missing persons report with the LAPD and police tell us they are investigating. NBC4's Darsha Phillips live near LAX with more on this for us. Darsha. Yeah, Colleen, it has been one week since Hannah Kobayashi's family have heard from her. Tonight, her aunts, uncles, and her father have flown into Los Angeles from all over the country to search for the 30-year-old, and they tell me that they have reason to believe that Hannah may be in danger. Posting flyers and trying to retrace the steps of Hannah Kobayashi. Her last known sighting was in the evening of Monday the 11th. Um, and she wasn't alone. Her aunt Larie Pigeon says through their own investigation, the family obtained surveillance video of Hannah at the Pico Metro station near the Crypto Arena last Monday evening. And Larie says it appears Hannah was with someone. They don't have the surveillance video, but the family says the LAPD is aware of their findings. What we saw, it wasn't normal. We're worried about abduction. We're worried about trafficking. Hannah flew from Maui to LAX Friday, November 8th. This is a picture of Hannah deboarding her American Airlines flight at LAX. She was supposed to get on a connecting flight to New York City, but missed that flight. 